What's up guys, Finnis here and welcome back to another video. Again, it feels like an absolute age, these flipping international breaks. But yeah, anyway, we're back at the Molyneux. It feels like months ago, but finally we're back. We're playing Huddersfield today at home. It's somewhat of a must win. Wolves haven't won in four. Obviously very impressive last time out, which again, feels like ages ago at Arsenal, which was what, two weeks ago now. So today we face Huddersfield, as I said, Mum just reliably informed me they are bottom but could shoot up the table with a win. Obviously with Fulham winning yesterday, getting that first win under, under Claudio, they've, uh, they've gone bottom. But to be fair, with what I've seen in the week, the Huddersfield fans seem oddly confident. There's been a lot of fans vocal about how much they hate Wolves because I didn't really mind Huddersfield, but um, been attacking our fans the way we run our club and all this sort of stuff. So now I hope we batter them. So we're just pulling up to the ground now. Teams are out already. We're arriving a little bit later. Um, only one change for Wolves, Vinagre in, as I discussed on the live stream uh, two days ago now. If you want to check that out, finish Friday, 7 p.m. Uh, every Friday. Saying that, uh, apart from next Friday, as Wolves have conveniently got a game then. But as for Huddersfield's team, I think they're rocking the 5-4-1. Uh, obviously seen what Watford have done. Obviously not playing that formation, but Watford packed the midfield. I know they've got some big boys in there, like Philip Billing, Congolo. They're just going to uh, try and bully Wolves, I assume. And it worked for Watford, so you can't blame them, really. So hopefully Wolves can break them down. Whether we need a little bit more in midfield as the game goes on. We've got Dendonka on the bench, we've got Say. So we have got options if that begins to happen. But score predictions, I'm still pretty confident. I said on the live stream and I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to go for 3-1. Dars. 2-0. 2-0. My thought was 3-1, so I'm sticking with that. 3-1 Wolves. Nice. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to go today for... 0. 4-0. <laughs> I thought you were saying then, like, I'm, go I'm going four. And, then... <laughs> and of course, guys, the video is again sponsored by my mates over at One Football. If you haven't checked them out already, please do. Links in the description. I'm sort of running out of stats in my head for this one. I haven't given many. So uh, I'll get some up on the screen for you here. Um, yeah, enjoy the stats. There's so much on the app to explore. Stats, videos, everything uh, to do with Wolves. So make sure you check them out. What do you think of the light show? Uh, frightening. home games here we've had a blatantly uh, clear goal ruled out last time now the ball's just clearly gone out of play hasn't been given not as big of a deal um, but not uh, not convincing oh dear five minutes gone six minutes gone Aaron Moy that is pinpoint right behind it it's a great finish said if we get the first goal this will be pretty easy but now that's a mountain to climb now they are going to pack the midfield pack the defence if you're watching on Super Sunday, this could be a snooze fest now. Could end in 1-0 Huddersfield. Keep the faith though. We'll still, uh, I don't think that we've won once. We've won once actually under Nuno, um, going one goal down. So, and that was at Bristol City, free Kinsman. So, not looking good. Costa keeps it alive. Oh, blocks and oh, oh Ryan Bennett's Never mind, now they <laughs> rugby tapas Pritchard. They're in on the break here. And it's gone out for a throw. How many minutes? 27 minutes gone now. Sorry if you're watching this on TV. Nothing going on. Wolves so not like ourselves, but we're just not ourselves when we go one down. Um, don't know what to suggest. Maybe Den Dunkel on in midfield, but that'd mean swapping the formation. Nuno never does that, so. I don't know, just got it's got a bray, I think. Four-nil gone. Four-nil's definitely gone. Four-nil's definitely gone. Uh, 
it's 50% us being awful, 50% them doing an absolute job on us. Gotta say, fair play, they're matching us man for man. Um, high press, as I just, uh, just seen them saying Tackle on Sky Sports. Every time. Just every time they get the ball, no room. three men on him. Cavalero's got three men on him. Costa's got three men on him. It's like they've got another 11 on the pitch, it's crazy. I don't know how we're going to fix it. My only hope is that they run so much they get tired, and that is literally, that is how the game's gone. That's what I'm hoping that they're going to knacker themselves, because that's the only chance we've got. And this is against Huddersfield, who are bottom of the league. And maybe they are a better team than bottom of the league, maybe they're in a false position, but they've scored six goals all season, seven now. And at the end of the day, teams are coming out now. But if you had to sum it up in a face, So just as we finish the video, Morgan and Traore have come on for Martinho and Cavalero. Who Cavalero had a shocker. For me, I'd have gone with a formation that fits Neves, Martinho and Morgan in the midfield because we were just being completely overrun in there, uh, as the old football manager Fraser says. Free kick leads to absolutely nothing. 51 minutes gone, not getting any better. That must have been absolutely inches away. Ref says no to, uh, to his little buzzy watch thing that does goal line technology. Kevin oh. is so close to scoring there. That's, that's encouraging, it's woke us up a little bit. Oh, is a different guy? Come on, Ruben. Huddersfield player down right near his own goal line. Jimenez takes advantage of the not being offside. And then obviously because it's the other end, we can't really tell. He's either bottled the shot or he's tried to pass it across to no one, but I've got no idea what's happened there. And there it is. Uh, Aaron Moy has got a brace. Um, obviously, we've been 1.8 centimetres away from scoring, now Huddersfield have got a second. They have done an absolute job on us. Absolute job on us. Come on, Wolves! So, what just happened? We've lost 2 0 in what was arguably a must win. That's now five um, without a win now. Oh, the panic, uh, the panic, is it panic bells? Whatever that, that sentence. Are, are we beginning to panic now? You look on Twitter, we, we definitely are. Um, I'm not going to jump into a review here. If you want to watch a, a full review, then make sure you check out Talking Wolves. I'll be featuring in that review along with me, Matt, Dave, and Ewan. So if you want to uh, check out a full review, please go over there and it'll be out very, very soon. We got rolled over by the red line pub. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very disappointing. Obviously, our score predictions look ridiculous now. 4 0, did my dad say? Uh, yeah, not ideal. But thank you very, very much for watching uh, nonetheless. I know not many of you will tune in to watch this 2 0 loss. So thank you to the loyal subscribers that do. If you are here, then please smash a like on it. If you're a Huddersfield fan, if you've enjoyed it, uh, if you've enjoyed watching my pain, please uh, please click subscribe, smack a like on it as well. And uh, less of the abuse in the comments, please. There's always opposition fans dropping some abuse. If you want to be nice, not feeling great at the moment anyway with that loss, please just don't be mean. And uh, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like. As I said, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next video. Peace.